Hello friends, welcome back. Let us start exercise 2.1. Okay. The first problem in the figure point P is the center of the circle. The figure is given. In the figure point P they are given as the center of the circle. AB, line AB is the tangent to the circle at point T. This is the point T and this line AB is the tangent to the circle. The radius of circle is 6 cm and TPB is 60 degrees. This is T and this is 60 degrees and radius is given 6 cm. Find the PB. We have to find the PB this very simple example very very simple example how we know that this is radius and at this point it is tangent so this is 90 degrees and since this angle is given 60 degrees this is obviously the case of 30 60 90 this is 60 this has to be 30 because this is 90 degrees okay I want to find PB so I will use sine 30 I will straight away write sin 30 is equal to here this is to be find out I will give name x 6 upon x sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 6 upon x so x is equal to 12 centimeter simple extremely simple example I will suggest in this case don't write something side opposite to 30 degrees is, is always equal to 1 upon 2 hypotenuse don't write something like that directly make use of the 3060 sin 30 is 6 by x don't even write the pb sin 30 is equal to 6 upon pb don't write initially you write x here we have to find out the x okay we have to find x so sin 30 is equal to 6 upon x you know the value of sin 30 do you remember the 30 60 the two triangles i shown you and how to find the values without by the tables two triangles one is 30 60 90 and one is 45 degrees so you can find out the trigonometric ratios of 30 60 45 anything sine cos tan cot i hope you remember this okay if not refer to algebra lectures or the trigonometry lecture okay so this was very easy example let us solve second example in the figure point a is the center let us draw the figure in the figure point A is the center of the circle AN is 10 centimeter AN is 10 centimeter and MN line MN is tangent to the circle at point M line MN is a tangent to circle at point M determine the radius of the circle if MN is phi determine the radius we have to straight away write that since this is the radius this angle is right angle okay at the point of contact tangent and radius are perpendicular to each other write this statement and this is the right angle so now this, it has become right angle triangle and by using the Pythagoras theorem we can easily find out this side quickly pause your video and find the value of am by Pythagoras theorem 10 square minus 5 square is equal to am square please pause your video and find out the answer The answer is phi root 3 centimeter. Don't forget to write centimeter. It is phi root 3 centimeter AM. Length of AM is equal to phi root 3 centimeter. Okay. Very simple example. Nothing difficult in this. But we did not learn Pythagoras theorem in this chapter. We have making use of our past knowledge in this what we learned here this is right angle that's all we learned in this chapter okay so we have analyzed this figure and then found out the answer let us go ahead this is the figure given now don't look at my figures I'm drawing all the figures by hand I'm not wasting my time in drawing neat and clean the figures with all instruments okay you have to just these are just rough figures in this figure they are given Q is the center of the circle 
and PM and PN are tangent segments. PM and PN are tangent segments to the circle. If MPN, if MPN is 40 degrees, find MQN, MQN. They have asked us to find this angle. Very easy. First of all, we will try to understand this figure. What we know, I told you many times, whenever you analyze the figure, some information may not be useful to you later on. But first understand the full figure. What we know in this case, tangent segments are there. Those are, those are equal. We know that. These, this is the radius, those are equal. We know that. Okay. This information is not used here actually. What else we know? We know that this is the radius and tangent. So they are at right angles. Okay. This much we know. Again, I am telling you. Maybe all the information we are analyzed is not applicable or not useful to solve this problem. Now, can you see that there are four angles? This is a quadrilateral PM and Q, isn't it? It is a quadrilateral. And what is the addition of all the angles of quadrilateral or inner angles of quadrilateral? 360 degrees. So, we have to find this angle. I will name this angle as X. Okay. So, x plus 40 plus 90 plus 90 is equal to 360. First of all, you have to declare this 90 degrees because tangent and radius are perpendicular at a point of contact. So, you can easily find out the value of x. Orally also I can find out. These two, these two are 180 degrees, 90 plus 90. So, these two must be equal to 180 degrees. 40 plus x is equal to 180. So, x must be equal to 140 degrees. But even if you are taking this x, y names to the angles, when you write the answer, you write the answer in the fashion they are asked. That means if they have asked, find the angle MQN, then write down as the answer angle MQN. Major of angle MQN is 140 degree. This is your answer. Okay. In answer, don't write x equal to 140 because they don't know what x is. Here also, if even if you don't write major of angle, that is fine. That is okay. So as the answer, you have to write the, the fashion in which they are asked. So this is equal to 140. Simple example, very simple example. But here also, only we have used this property and then the rest of the knowledge is from past. Okay. Now, as I told you, now these two tangent segments are equal. This information actually not used uh, to solve this example. But this is a habit. This is the habit of anal analyzing some figure. So, do it. Whenever you are practicing, understand or find out everything what you know about that figure. Only after that you will be able to solve the other problems. Okay. So, once you are expert in solving the means all all the exercise from the circle are over after that you need not uh, write whatever you want and all these things but initially while solving first time you analyze the figure whether it is required or not required so that you will be habitual to look at the figure and find out what is hidden what is not given here we are interested what is not given this problem was there for two marks in March 14, July 15 exam and for three marks in March 15 exam. Quite popular problem, very simple problem two for two or three marks. Let us go to problem number four. Now this is again a simple problem. Figure is shown, they are given two circles, one bigger circle and inside one small circle is there. And there is one line here, AB, suppose. And this is point T and this is center of circle O. Okay. Don't look at my figure. Okay. You draw the figure properly. As shown in the figure, two concentric circles, concentric center is same, are given. The line AB is tangent to the smaller circle at T. At T, it is tangent to smaller circle. 
show that t is the midpoint of segment ab we have to prove that t is the midpoint of segment ab now this problem was in october 14 exam for two marks very simple problem very simple forget about the now let us analyze the figure what we know in this we know that since this is a tangent and though the radius is not given i will say that this is the radius this is 90 degrees correct so in the smaller circle ot is the radius is perpendicular to t at the point t perpendicular to ab correct now forget about the smaller circle in the bigger circle ot is perpendicular to ab and by the property or theorem forget now this smaller circle the line which is perpendicular to the chord from center always bisect the chord so by this theorem or property these two sides are equal and hence the t is the midpoint of ab so which property we are use the perpendicular from the center on the chord bisects the chord so t is the midpoint of ab so simple two marks have you understood how we have tackled this problem first of all forget outer circle in inner circle we prove that this is right angle now forget inner circle in outer circle this is concentric circle this ot is perpendicular to chord and hence it bisects the chord so at is equal to tb and hence t is the midpoint of ab simple let us go ahead problem number 5 is again complicated problem to draw but very easy problem to solve okay let us see the figure part by part there is one small circle okay the center of the circle is o there are two chords these two chords intersect at p this is the point a this is the point b this is the line oc o is the radius and this is the line oc okay now as a p radius as a big circle is drawn passing through point a i'll write the point a again this is the point a don't look at my figure just consider this is a circle tangent to this bigger circle at point a means this line passes through o this is what we have to prove now forget about the bigger circle okay in the smaller circle oa is right angle to ap correct now in the bigger circle this is again a tangent this is again tangent so ac is tangent to ap so ac is again tangent to ap radius ap is the radius of the bigger circle now see that oa is right angle to ap and ac is also right angle to ap at point a but from the given point any given point there can be only one and one right angle line can be passed that means oa and ac are the same lines because at any one point to the line there can be only one perpendicular can be drawn very simple so that means this oa and ac are one and the same line and hence the tangent to the bigger circle at point a passes through o proved simple just two steps the first step in a smaller circle oa is perpendicular to ap because o is radius of the smaller circle and ap is tangent in the bigger circle ac is a tangent and pa or ap is a radius so ac 
is perpendicular to the AP because tangent is always perpendicular to radius at the point of contact. Now forget all the circles. There is two line segments are there. Two line segments are perpendicular to same line in the one point. But there can be only one line can be drawn perpendicular to particular line at a given point. So this OA and AC has to be one and the same line and hence it is proved then you have to write the complete statement. Hence it is proved that the tangent at a point A to the circle with the center P passes through point O. It is the center of the small circle. Okay. Again I am telling you please don't look at my figures because I am drawing by hand. So my circles are not very perfect. That is why I drawn this figure in two steps. For smaller circle and then showed you the bigger circle. Okay. Let us go ahead. Now let us solve problem number 6. A figure is given. Two circles are given. One is the bigger circle. One is the smaller circle. There is a one common tangent to both of these circles. Okay, let me draw the common tangent. So there is one bigger circle, one smaller circle. AB is the common tangent to both, touching the circles at A and B. Then O and P are the radius of the circles. O and P are the radius of the circles. They are given the radius 29 and 18. 29 and 18. Again they are given the distance OP. OP is joined, connected. The circles are not touching each other. OP they are given as a 61. So they are asked to find out AB. We have to find AB. How shall we go? Simple. First analyze the figure. What we know about this? This is definitely right angle. This is definitely right angle. Now can you see that both this, both of these radius are perpendicular to one and same line. And hence these two lines or these two radii are parallel to each other. Once you get one pair of the line parallel, can we draw a parallel line to OP? Yes, definitely. I can draw a parallel line to OP. This line OP is parallel to OP. Opposite sides of the parallelogram are congruent to each other. So this is also 61. This is 18 means this is also 18. And if this is 18, this is 11. Now can you see? A, I'll give name to this point is M. This A, M and B is a right angle triangle where this is right angle. MB is a hypotenuse which is 61. This base is 11. Can't you find out the AB? Very simple. By Pythagoras theorem, you can say that AB square plus 11 square is equal to 61 square. So AB square plus 11 square is equal to 61 square. Please pause your video here and quickly find out value of AB. Please do it now. The answer is AB is equal to 60. Unit is not given even they are not given in centimeters or so. So if you neglect the unit is okay but you can write unit. Very simple. So here our approach was perfect. So first we judged what I know in this figure. Then I tried to draw the some extension lines like parallelogram and then we solved the problem. Very easy. So let us go ahead. Let us solve the example number 7. Problem number 7. Now in this three sub questions are there. The main problem is explain what is wrong with the information marked in the following figures without taking actual measurements. Okay. 
the first figure they are given we have to show what is wrong in this figure the first figure they are given a circle is there then one line is like this they said this angle is 60 degrees this angle is 30 degrees they said don't take measurement actually this angle doesn't look like 60 degrees but the figure is something like this they said what is wrong is this possible or what is wrong in this figure this figure is wrong because if this is 60 this is 30 this angle must be 90 degrees and if this angle has to be 90 degrees then this line must be tangent to the circle but actually in the figure it is intersecting in two points so it is not tangent so this is the wrong in this figure if this has to be 90 degrees then this line must be tangent which is not this is wrong in this figure second the figure is something like this this is the circle this is the exterior by the exterior angle theorem we want to use this is the triangle so by exterior angle theorem this angle must be 90 degrees this is 20 degrees given it doesn't look like 20 but it is 20 degrees so by exterior angle is, is equal to addition of two remote angles so 20 plus 90 is 110 so this must be 90 degrees but if this is 90 degree then this line must be tangent to the circle which is not because it is cutting this circle in two points this is wrong in this figure that line is not tangent is a mistake third this is the figure they are given these are two tangent segments okay to the circle with the center o radius is 9 this line is given 15 i have not given i have not labeled the diagram okay i'm just explaining this as it is so they say what is wrong in this figure number one two tangent segments we know that they must be congruent now we have right angle triangle here so in right angle triangle find out this side this side square equal to 15 square minus 9 square which is not equal to 13 but it has to be equal to 13 because by the theorem tangent segments are equal are congruent correct so that is the wrong in this figure that this side is not 13 by Pythagoras theorem let us go ahead to problem number 8 in this one circle is there with center O and four tangents are there which forms a parallelogram here they are given uh, touching points are A, B, C and D and end points of the parallelogram are P, Q, R and S P, B and B, Q they are given 5 and 3 and we have to find out the length of PS PS we have to find out how will you solve this this is very simple example okay first let us see what we know about this figure since these are the tangent segments this must be equal now these are the tangent segments must be equal these are the tangent segments must be equal and these are the tangent segments I say these are the equal okay now generally this problem is solved by taking AS plus PA then PB plus no don't do like this just give the name to the segments I will give for example this is 5 so this will be also 5 this is 3 so this will be also 3 and here I will these two are the congruent tangent segments so I will give name X and X and here I will give Y and Y so instead of uh, calling the line AS plus AS equal to SD I'll just mark it as XX YY like this this is a parallelogram okay so first we will see that 5 plus 3 must be equal to X plus Y because the opposite side of the parallelogram are equal so 5 plus 3 8 so X plus Y is equal to 8 this is what we have and then 5 plus x must be equal to 3 plus y 5 plus x must be equal to 3 plus y because opposite side of the parallelogram we want to find x so that we can easily find out 5 plus x is ps this is what we have to find out so we will substitute for y 
from the first equation y is equal to 8 minus x so 5 plus x I'm not writing this is equation 1 equation 2 substituting y from equation 2 all these things you have to write okay I'm just explaining this I'm not spoon feeding you I'm not giving you the direct solution as given in the digest okay but this is 1 this is 2 so now we have two equations and two unknowns easy two equations two unknowns we want to find out the value of x so that we can find out ps easily 5 plus x so we'll substitute the value of y there 8 minus x and substitute in equation 2 so 5 plus x is equal to 3 plus what is y 8 minus x so 5 plus x is equal to 3 plus 8 minus x x will come to this side so 2x will be equal to 3 plus 8 minus 5 11 minus 5 that is equal to 6 so x is equal to 3 so here we got x is equal to 3 so this is 3 this is 3 uh, we can find out the value of y also from here if this is 3 then uh, y will be equal to 5 but we don't need to find out y because they are not asked it they are asked to find out ps only so what will be ps then so ps equal to length of ps equal to 5 plus x that is 8 but if you write something the names of the sides that is hd plus dr equal to 8 and so on it will be confusing so just give the names to the segments y y x x whenever such problem come now this is a parallelogram here sometime uh, triangle is given with the tangent segments and then you have to find out the values some problem is there afterwards okay so this is very simple example okay don't forget to give names to the side and draw the proper figure my figure is not uh, very beautiful okay you draw the proper figure with pro circle or bangle and proper scale okay let us go ahead in the figure point a is the common point of contact of two externally touching circle at a these two circles are touching externally line l is a common tangent to both the circle this is the line l is a common tangent to both the circles both the circle touching them in point B and C this line is touching both the circle in point B and C now this vertical line is also common tangent to both the circles at point A and which intersects this line at D what they have asked prove that BAC is 90 degrees BAC is 90 degrees this angle this bigger angle is 90 degrees also prove that point D is the midpoint of segment BC. Point D is the midpoint of segment BC. How will you do this? This is again a very simple problem. What we know first in this case that we'll see. We know that now the radiuses are not given. No radius is given. Center of the circle is also not shown. So no need to show uh, draw the radius and say that this is 90 degrees etc okay now we have three triangles one is this bigger triangle abc now adb and dac these three two small and one big triangle is there so i can use the triangle properties angle properties here okay now let me give the names to this angle let this is x okay before that what we know that this side is equal to this side because the tangent segments and to this circle this side equal to this side because of the tangent segments correct that means these three sides are equal now I'll give name to the angles this is X in this triangle smaller triangle this is X but isn't it an isosceles triangle so this must be X opposite angles of the uh, congruent sides of the of an isosceles triangle are equal and this is why this is also isosceles triangle so this is also why correct now I'll say this is uh, 
P and this is Q, angle P and angle Q. Now, in this ABC bigger triangle, bigger triangle ABC, X plus X plus Y plus Y, that is 2X plus 2Y is equal to 180. This is the property of triangle. Addition is 180. So, X plus Y is equal to 90. And X plus Y is this. So, we have proved that angle BAC is 90 degrees. Now, in this case, I gave name P and Q to angle, these two angles, but it is not required. Okay? If it is not required, by practice you will come to know whether it is required or not. Not required, don't write. Okay? We have to show that D is the midpoint. Simple. Since these two are congruent, these two are congruent, then D is the midpoint of the BC. So, BD is equal to DC. Isn't it? BD is, is equal to DA is equal to DC. So, BD is equal to DC and hence D is the midpoint of segment BC. I always tell you that not necessary that whatever while analyzing the figure whatever we write it is always necessary for it. Okay. Now here after solving the example of course you are writing all these names by pencil you can erase these two. P and Q not required. Sometime we need it, but this time it is not required. It is then. Okay. So, here also, if you take the names of the angle, that angle B, uh, angle D, B, see I am also getting confused. Okay. Angle D, B, A plus angle B, A, D plus angle D, A, C plus angle D, C, A equal to 180. So, 2 into this, no, 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 don't do that. You will confuse yourself and you will definitely write something wrong while writing those number, the, writing those letters. So, better to just give names to those angles, angle X, this angle X, angle X. So, this is very easy. X, Y, writing something, equations in X, Y is very easy. But at the end, you write the answer. So, X plus Y is equal to 90 degree. Hence, Angle BAC is 90 degrees or right angle. The fashion in which they are asked to prove or asked to find out, the answer must be in that fashion. So, you will write the answer not in XY but in a proper name of that particular angle. Okay. So, this is very simple example. Let us go ahead. We have to find the length of the tangent segment from A to the circle with the center O. Here, this X we have to find out. Now, from the figure what we know, these two are tangent segment congruent, so I will give name to this Y, Y and Z and Z. Now, let us write the equation. What equation we can write? Z plus Y is equal to 12 and x plus y plus z is equal to 44 rather 2x plus 2y plus 2z because perimeter is there x plus y x plus z y plus z that means 2z plus 2x plus 2y so actually it is 2x plus 2y plus 2z equal to 44 so x plus y plus z is equal to 22 but from the first equation, this is the first equation we got. From the first equation, z plus y is equal to 12. So, this is 12. So, x plus 12 is equal to 22. So, x is equal to 10. So, the answer you will write that the length of the tangent segments from point A to the circle is 10 centimeters. Here, everywhere they are given centimeters. So, the answer you should write 10 centimeters. This example was there in March 14 exam for 3 marks. So, very simple example, 3 marks in your pocket very easily. So, let us go to 11th example. So, let us now solve problem number 11. Now, in this figure, BC and BA are both the tangent to the circle with center O. They don't look like a tangent, but uh, they, those are tangents. Okay. Now, DCA is a chord which and point 
D is a point of intersection of OB and AC. We have to prove that this OD is a perpendicular bisector of segment AC or chord AC. How will you prove that? It is very easy. Now first of all we will analyze what we know in this figure. We know that radius are same. This is same. So in this bigger triangles, this big triangle OBA, this big triangle and this big triangle, what we have? We have this side equal to this side, this side equal to this side and this side is common. So by SSS property, both the triangles are congruent. This both the bigger triangles are congruent. And so I can say that this angle is equal to this angle, corresponding angles of the congruent triangles. Correct? Now in these two small triangles, now forget about this big triangle. Now in these two small triangles, what we have? This side equal to this side. These two angles are congruent and this is common side. So these two triangles are also congruent by SAS property. Correct? And hence this side equal to this side. Corresponding sides of the congruent triangles. Correct? So now D has become midpoint. But we know that the line passing through the center of circle and midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord. Again, the line from the center of the circle to the midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord. So it is 90 degrees now and hence this line OB is a perpendicular bisector of AC at point D. There is an alternative proof to this which is more simple than this. Now look at this. Tangent segments so they are equal and this is these are also equal because they are radius of the circle. So point O and point B are equidistant from C and A which are the end points of the segment and hence by perpendicular bisector theorem OB is a perpendicular bisector of AC. In the both the way you can prove so it depends on you how you prove or which theorem you use in this case. So we have proved this by two methods the first by the methods which we have learned in the circle and one method is from our previous years that is a perpendicular bisector theorem and we have proved the same thing. So let us go to the last problem of 2.1. Problem number 12 in the figure AB and AC are tangents drawn from A. AB and AC are the two tangents to this circle. Then they are given that segment BA and CA are right angle. BA and CA are at 90 degrees and we have to prove that BACO, this uh, quadrilateral BACO is a square. Very easy. It's a child's play, right? Let us examine the figure and what we know since this is a tangent, this must be right angle, radius radius and tangent right angles so this must be right angle because all three are right angle so this is a rectangle correct we know that the tangent segments are equal and since this is a rectangle opposite sides are equal so all the sides are equal and all the angles are right angles so quadrilateral a b o c is a square so this was very simple example such examples also comes for your exam for two marks etc because the objective of the paper is not to fail the students but give them maximum chance to pass out. So there are many simple examples and few tough examples for the students who want to score in the exam. So here we have finished the exercise 2.1. Now again I am telling you don't look at my figures draw your figures properly with the instruments that is pro circle or bangle or maybe in some case compass 
proper scales label all the diagram properly whenever the figure is given first analyze the figure and then think what to do go by the reverse engineering method first think of the final step how i am going to prove this and to prove this what is required so go back a step by step back and then start your solution writing your solution okay so friends here we have finished 2.1 and we will go ahead now to topic number 2 thank you very much